we're here at the Swinton Lock Activity Centre. Today we are celebrating Swinton's heritage and the things that make this town so special but also the people that make it special as well. Swinton itself is steeped in history. It has coal mining, engineering, even glass making, but it is most famous for its pottery. Rockingham Pottery, which closed in 1842, was world renowned. It had pottery that went across the globe. And today, we're going to celebrate the heritage through arts, crafts, things like that. So, let's go inside and meet the people who are celebrating this community and this heritage, and let's celebrate what they're making. Basically, it's, it's about four different pictures meshed together and these are my hands and this is an open sketchbook and the sketchbook uh, is representative of the future while this landscape is representative of the, of the present and then also with the infrastructure, the past and the previous heritage and uh, the hands here are working away creating like it's, it's sort of about like documentation like of what's going on in the present to be used as like a resource and that's that's what it's sort of about is it's about like and you also have like in this you don't have any people in this part because Obviously, it's more representative of the past, but here you have all of the people that are actually on that boat trip, and uh, these are all young people. So it's it it just represents um, yeah, it just represents like our generation and their mark and their like legacy. My name's Gemma and I'm a photographer and today I've been photographing at Swinton Activity Centre and I've been photographing all the young people doing some amazing creative things so they've been painting, drawing, jewellery making, hand printing so and then I've also been photographing a lot of the other pieces of artwork that have been made over the two three years that the whole Ignite Yorkshire project has been going so and there's been as you can see one head piece behind me there's been lots of pieces of uh, lovely work created so um, I got the job as the um, Ignite Yorkshire photographer so I've been going around photographing many different groups at many of the different partners I like Swinton Activity Centre um, and, and just photographing what everyone's been getting up to and it's been it, it's been one of my favorite jobs really it's been lovely yeah <laughs> Dern 
and Dove Canal, which gets its name from the River Dern and the River Dove, finished construction in 1804. It started all the way back in Barnsley and finished here in Swinton. It was mainly used for the transport of goods, specifically that from coal fields. It closed in 1961, but today serves a much different purpose, not that for industry, but for that of tourism and community. The Swinton Lock Activity Centre offers boat handling courses here and also boat tours where you can experience the fantastic views going up and down these waterways. It's great that such a historic place is being used for such a noble and communal purpose and we can really enjoy these historic sites and really come together to celebrate our heritage here. My name's Jane Senior and I'm the Chief Exec at Swinton Lock Activity Centre. And I've been here since 2012, so a lot of the story of the history uh, of Swinton Lock is what's been shared with me, you know, from, from other people that's either volunteered or worked here for, for a long time. Um, Swinton Lock was established as a charity in 2004. Um, and I think its main focus as we sit here today, um, I kind of split it, split it up. So we work with young people, mainly predominantly young people that are struggling in education, are on the verge of being excluded for lots of different reasons. Uh, they come to us, they do lots of different alternate education and where possible we kind of use the arts, the water, where, anything that we think will help them kind of on their journey to get back into school because that's his main aim. Um, I have to say we're very successful at that. One of the things that we we do uh, wear with pride is uh, most of our young people, probably 99% of them leave us with qualifications and leave us with a portfolio of, of work for if they do go on to college, ed, ed, uh, other education, employment, um, and also um, more often than not have a 95 to 100% attendance rate. So we're doing something and we're doing something right. now. I believe is when you look at Swinton Lock, um, we don't look like a school, we don't like, look like an education, we're not teachers, I'm, my background is youth work, I'm a youth worker, um, the premises are beautiful, we're covered in wildlife, you know, you can walk outside and watch squirrels playing, ducks swimming about on water, um, and we have a therapy dog that comes here most days as well that works with children with uh, ADHD, autism, so we, we kind of a mixed bag of loveliness. Um, today, we uh, decided to get together with a group of young people that's been on a journey for a long time with us uh, around our Ignite project, kind of looking at the, the heritage and the history um, and celebrating some of the absolutely amazing work that they've done. But I think more importantly, celebrating that the young people that they've become today you know, the confidence, um, the fact that they're a friendship group, they know each other, they've kept in touch, they've built up things like WhatsApp groups, social media presence, um, and that is just lovely to see, you know, and just, just being here taking photographs. Um, we've got some videos of one of our groups where one of the young people played the violin in the group. Um, it, and it's just lovely, it's just lovely to see and you know our, our original four young people that joined us for Ignite uh, three years ago, three of them are now in year three of university um, studying some kind of art skill and you just think wow that's amazing um, and where will they be in ten years if that's what they've achieved in three you know and we're just so proud of all of them um, for their individuality really uh, as well um, so the other area of Swinton Lock is we do um, a lot of work with adults um, from a th therapeutic kind of um, background and these are adults that may have gone through childhood abuse, domestic abuse, coercive control, child sexual exploitation, um, maybe lonely, isolated, got no friends and we kind of put groups together and again we use art as a medium to get because that gets people around the table 
and that can be anything from pottery to flower making, card making. Um, we did a, a, a makeup class on Friday looking at self-esteem and confidence. Um, we, um, we do a lot of work to try and encourage um, the environment to grow around us. Um, on Thursday, a group of 10 young boys aged 13 to 15 have dug out all our pond that was tired and, you know, really ready for some TLC. Um, and they're going to be creating a pond area, making some kind of ladybug uh, hotels um, and um, some bird uh, nesting boxes, an area where people can sit, um, a fountain, where actually if people are feeling a little bit anxious or stressed or just wanting a little bit of time, they can actually go, they can sit and they can see things grow in the pond, the tadpoles, the fish, you know, as, as we start to hopefully encourage these little creatures to join us, but also things like putting tadpoles into the pond and, and you know, watching that transformation. Um, and then we can um, go back to what we used to do, which is inviting our junior schools and uh, nurseries, play schools in, to actually do a bit of pond dipping and bug spotting. And so, so yeah, so we're hoping to have that back on, um, on our programme by September. Um, which, you know, the lottery's funded for us, which is going to be an amazing piece of work. Um, I, um, what we also do, and this is something that the pandemic kind of dropped on us, something that was never in our business plan, never in our minds, never in, I don't think anybody's thoughts of how Swinton Lock would also become a full bank and kind of look at the needs of our community around us. Um, and food is a basic need, you know, um, people choose to come and do the art and the art therapy but actually people turn up because they're hungry um, and wherever we can we, we give people substantial amounts of food and, and we feed them. What we've also got, um, which I don't know any other charity or organisation in Rotherham, we have two narrowboats. Um, one we use for training, but we're just currently um, applying for funding to turn it into a residential boat where we want to actually give um, children and young people in crisis the experience of going out and spending a couple of nights away from everything and kind of working with therapists and, and also including looked after children to, to just spend some time reflecting on life and also to offer families um, that have missed out on so much this last two years an opportunity to maybe have a break um, and spend some time together. Um, and we use that boat as well to train people because we're always looking for volunteers. Um, our other boat, again, um, is, um, is used to, um, to take people on trips. It carries up to 12 people, it's fully accessible. How else do you get out on the water if you're in a wheelchair or you've got any limited mobility? Um, our boat can do that for you. It can, you know, you can go on a trip for one hour, six hours. Um, our volunteers are very knowledgeable around the history of the canal. And our children love the gruesome history um, because there is a lot of gruesome history, you know, and the ghost stories that, that they like to hear about the battles that were fought in the canal years ago. Um, so it's steeped in things that we can talk to children and, you know, um, and then we kind of mix that in with kind of looking at what do we need to do in the here and now. So we have um, items on board where we can pick litter out of the canal um, and we can talk about the dangers of throwing plastic bottles and, and kind of what our future is going to look like if we don't try somehow to educate you know i know better to educate our adults than our children you know it's not always that the teachers have to be adults because i think if you put a passion in children then that's a legacy that they will carry with them um into their own adulthood and parenting etc so we do lots of things um we're a very messy jigsaw um, but we fit together very nicely and we're kind of 
Team Swinton Lock and, you know, we, we see everybody being on that journey of positivity with us. Um, and wherever possible, we try to make sure that everybody that comes here has an amazing experience. So today has been a celebration of the local young talent and celebrating our community coming together and its local heritage. We can't thank the National Lottery Heritage Fund enough for funding events like this and really bringing people together at a time when, well, let's face it, people have been apart for so long. Moving forward now, we'd love to see more events like this and more celebration of local talent, local youth coming together and really being themselves and showing the world that actually Swinton is just the beginning. Swinton has a lot to offer. The people of Swinton have a lot to offer, but also so does the rest of Rotherham and indeed so does the rest of the country.